Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today's is all about three newly surfaced pictures of Graceland in 1963. Let's dive in. So another of Fred Hubry's awesome pictures was shared, and it's just as exquisite as the others he so kindly shared with us. This first one he had actually emailed me, and I so appreciate being included. In the early 1960s, Fred, an Elvis fan, was allowed inside Graceland while Elvis was away and snapped some amazing photos. He slowly shared them on Facebook over the years, and they're a fascinating peek into a time long gone. This time, he shared a photo of the living room from 1963. This is taken with his back to the music room, and we can see the dining room in the background. This view is exactly the one I've been wishing existed, and in this one picture, many of my lingering questions were answered. This corner of the room isn't in any of the photos this old. So you know what we're gonna do, Graceland nerds, stick around, let's dissect it. The living room looks so much like it does today, but with some minor changes. There's also been many changes between the time that Elvis bought Graceland in 1957 and this picture just six years later. There is so much to take in and so much I want to touch on, so let's just start left to right. By this point, 1963, the house has had some big changes since the decorating choices of 1957. Gone are the baby blue walls, red carpet, and blue upholstery of the 15-foot couch. All of that has been changed to a more neutral cream color. A glaring difference that we don't see today are the sliding glass doors that lead into the dining room. It sounds kind of odd, but these were a bit more common back then. Maybe it helped with the noise level for the rest of the house. These were around until the early 70s when the house was renovated. We can see them clearly in the archway to the dining room with the sheer white curtains pulled to the sides. Something that I saw for the first time I had no idea about is the white armchair front and center. I've talked a lot about the Graceland armchairs of today and the armchairs of the 1960s in previous Secret Graceland videos, but I'm surprised to see a third one of a different shape in here. We can tell it matches the ottoman to the left because it has the same legs. I guess that's what GK is sitting on and sharing with this guy in this photo from December 1970 taken in that corner of the living room near the fireplace. The cabinet to the right is in exactly the same spot as we see today, and so is the lamp. But apparently, this wasn't the first lamp in that spot. Let's take a look at the actual receipt from the interior design of this room in 1957. Elvis hired interior designer George Golden, who owned Goldens of Memphis, to decorate his new home. This receipt is framed at Graceland and located in the trophy building. We'll get to the other items in a bit, but the sixth line down says imported figurine lamp on cabinet. And without this new picture, that wouldn't have made any sense. I haven't seen this lamp in any other picture. Also described on the receipt are original painting over cabinet. It's hard to make out what this painting is of, but I've only seen other art in that spot over the credenza. The receipt also lists throw pillows around fireplace, white and blue corduroy, rubberized, hair filled. The last thing from the receipt that we'll go over is the clock. Lately with recent secret Gracelands and these new photos popping up, I've been so interested in the clock over the fireplace. This picture is the best picture so far of this original clock. This isn't the same clock that we see on the tour today. This original clock was a sunburst in a picture frame listed on the receipt from 1957. The sunburst clock today was given to Elvis as a gift in the 1960s by his friend GK. If you want to see more about decorating specifically, I created a video all about that and it's in this link right here. Now let's move on to a couple new photos from the music room. This stunner is another shared by Fred Hubry, taken around that same time, but there is a mystery in this photo that I need your help with. Let's take inventory of what we can see in here and then compare it to the photo shoot Elvis did in here just two years later in 1965. The walls are covered with blue-gray drapes that you'll see on the tour today. The piano was against the back wall. Take a look at the shape of the piano and the curly Q detailing along the side. Now let's see it in color in 1965. The room looks virtually the same, except for the curly cues on the side of the piano. Is there something I'm missing? This is the same piano, right? Like, where did the curly cues go? If you know, please tell me in the comments below. Have you ever wanted to get a good look at the knickknacks Elvis Presley kept on his coffee table? Luckily, Fred came through and got a shot of just that. This is also in the music room. On the right is a catalog, 
but right there on the table is clearly a fan gift. I can't make out the name on this mug, but it's so cool that something a fan spent time creating found a space in his home. And that is it. What was your favorite picture? Let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram for rare photos and fun facts that don't make it into the videos. I'll also be sharing some of the photos I use in this video. The links for those are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.